Asian woman could could receive in in film. Honestly, it feels a little bit surreal, and I'm so happy and so excited and just so flattered and honored to have been included in this amazing group of women. Um, and yeah, this is much bigger than what I expected, so a little overwhelming as well. It's massive, and I mean, this is such a great honor for for I mean, Canadian film, Canadian women, and and like, how does it how does it feel now to be considered? Because from here on out, I don't know if you know, but you're going to be considered iconic. Oh, I don't know about that. Right? I mean, you're very young, and already you're you're on that path to being iconic. Do you have any thoughts or anything towards that title? Um, well, I don't know about if I'll be iconic, but it's really wonderful to have been included with these group of women. I'm honestly shocked that they picked me. These are people that I've grown up looking up to and who have helped me a lot in my career. So I definitely look up to the other honorees very much. Awesome. Is there any advice that you could give to any other Canadian women out there watching right now that are pursuing acting and maybe would want to, you know, be on the stage one day and, and receive the honor that you have? Yes, I would say um, don't let anyone tell you that you can't do it. And also help other women and look to other women for help and support. I think that that's really important. Other women have been so helpful to me and such mentors and I try to help women whenever I can. So I think women in general, but especially in the film industry, need to support and help each other as much as they can. And, and just out of even my own curiosity, have you ever experienced any form of like a gender bias? in the acting industry, you know, uh, because tonight we're honoring solely women. So it's just something that naturally comes to mind. Have you ever experienced anything like that within the industry? And if so, how did you overcome that? Yes, I think it, I mean, it, the film industry is incredibly sexist and women face prejudice and gender inequality all of the time. And I see it often in when women are producers or directors, they're treated differently or it's harder for them to be successful. Um, I think the best way to combat it is nights like this, where we honor women and speak about how important women are, and, and also just to be honest about the challenges that we face and to speak up about them. Well, I'm a big fan of Katie Boland. She's an old friend of mine. Oh, yeah. um, so it was lovely to see her up here. But you know, even if I don't know them, big congratulations. Uh, I, I know it's uh, you know it's a male-dominated industry, so your voice is uh, it's, it's tricky to get your voice out there. So I was just marveling to people next to me that I was saying there's a lot of successful women up on the stage right now. I saw Mommy last year, and one of the actresses was up here, and uh, it's just lovely to see that uh, you know people are thriving and uh, not being held back by circumstance. yourself how are you feeling about tonight do you have any words for maybe some of the honorees that have been here today and and yeah. you know like the, the fact that women are being honored to this extent in 2015 is a huge milestone do you have any words for that yeah I definitely think there's still such a insane minority of women in film so it's really important like this event is very important to me and like very close to my heart um, because there's still there's still really a long way to go for women, especially directing. Um, I think it's like the number is like something like 16% of directors are female. It's like a very low number, and I really I'm a director myself, and as well as an actor, and I'm very excited for that to change. So I'm really glad to be here. 